Hello dear friends, glad to be with you and speak to you on a message about five, ten minutes message and I'll pray it will bless your life. I believe it's a message somebody needs to hear and I want to speak to you on the fact that if you lose what you have you will gain everything God has. Lose what you have and gain what God has. The Bible says over in the book of Acts the 22nd chapter where Saul of Tarsus met Christ Jesus on the Damascus Road and was converted and Saul of Tarsus became the great Apostle Paul and the Lord God changed his life and he changed your life and some of you I'm talking to praise God life to God has changed your life you're not living like you used to you're living now a different life you're living closer to God you still have troubles but you're walking with one who has the power to solve all your troubles you're finding fault not with others so much as with yourself and you're confessing and staying humble and God is blessing your life. I want to say to you over in that 26th chapter uh, Paul said that he saw the light and he fell down before that light and, and a voice spoke from heaven saying Saul why are you persecuting me? And saw, uh, Paul, Saul said I said who are you Lord? And he answered me and said I am Jesus who you are persecuting. Who are you Lord? I am Jesus. And right there Paul believed and was saved and born again by believing in him as his Lord. I want you to believe in him as your Lord right now. I want you to know him where you won't have to say who are you Lord. You will know him. He will say to you I am Jesus and I have come to redeem your life to live in you and to abide in you and to help you find your way to help you with your struggle and know that I am there to guide you in the way you need to go today and help you find the way because I am the way trust him now and know that he's the Lord of Lords and King of Kings for you trust him and believe in him say in your heart oh God forgive me cry out with your mouth confess Lord God forgive me I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe I believe He rose again. I believe He's coming back. Oh Lord Jesus, come in my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Praise God. Pray a prayer like that and mean it. And you'll be changed like Saul of Tarsus was changed and became the great Apostle Paul. We find that this truth is something we need to recognize over in the Bible in the 14th chapter of, of Matthew we find that Jesus becomes our strength and hope in every time of trouble maybe you're facing a problem right now a problem that's so big you can't hardly find an answer anywhere and you're wondering what you're going to do I want you to stay close to God as you can I want you to come to the Lord and draw near to Him and realize that that problem is something He's allowed to happen in your life so that you would see him and call upon his name. Over in the Bible, the, uh, the disciples were out on a ship on the lake of Galilee one night, and all of a sudden, uh, <clears throat> they were looking out at the, they were standing in the ship, and they looked out and they saw a person walking on the water toward them. And that person was Jesus Christ. He was walking on the water like it was a concrete bridge, and they were frightened. They were scared. And Jesus called out and he said to them, It is I, <clears throat> it is I, be not afraid, it is me. It is me. Sometimes we see something, a problem, and we feel like, <clears throat> this is terrible, I'm afraid of this thing, this what I'm facing. But if we look closer, we may see that the shadows of your blessed Lord right there in the middle saying, It's me, I'm right here in it, and I'm going to bless you for it and he will do it. Trust him. Believe him. Call upon him. Know that he's there to help you and he'll do that. Over in Matthew in the first chapter in verse 21 it says this, And uh, behold a virgin shall conceive and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God is with us. I want you to know dear friend God is with you. Wherever you are God's with you. If things are going good and right, praise God, rejoice in the Lord, and be happy for what you've got. 
You've got so much. Try to look at the good and rejoice in what you do have. Be glad for things that are going as well as they are for you because God's in it and the things are going to get better and you're going to become stronger when you put your trust in Him every day. Every day He is with you. That's the main thing. He said when you pass through deep waters you're not going to drown because I'm with you. And when you go through the fire you're not going to be burned up because I am with you. His name is Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God is with us. Hallelujah. God is with us. What a name. Oh, for a thousand tongue, tongues to sing. Blessed be the name of the Lord, the glories of my God and King. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God, my friend. Blessed be that name. Over in the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 1, it says this, My little children, these things I write to you that you do not sin. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Oh, we're not to sin. But if any man does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Jesus is our lawyer in heaven. He's pleading our case for us. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, He lives in you to guide your way and help you find the will of God. The Holy Spirit is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And he's leading you right now to call on his name, to believe in him, to find out which way you ought to go and go with God. And believe, and oh God, receive, and walk by faith, and live in love, and know he's there. God bless you. And remember, dear friend, that we are sometimes cast down in order to be lifted up. Sometimes excluded in order to be exalted. Praise God. Amen. And that we're, <coughs> we're to lose everything that we have that we might gain everything God has. Amen and amen.